Welcome back, Gary here, GT Alaskan Adventures. So this is a little woodworking project that I did last winter, and it's our bedroom remodel. So you're kind of getting a look at the uh, finished product here, and we'll, we'll get into it. So this wall here that you see with the dresser drawers in it was a uh, kind of a wasted space. So there's the wall. You can kind of see the stair stair steps there on the top left hand corner and you're going to see here the closet space that we had and uh so basically what i was wanting to do is is uh get into that wall and use that space so i had a plan for years to uh build some dresser doors and put them into that wall and make use of that space this is inside the closet there's a big old empty unused space in back in back of that um wall so here we go here's the wall uh, uncovered and uh, you're gonna see there's a couple studs here that I took out of there and created uh, a couple openings uh, two openings for this uh, left hand side which would be a four dresser door unit and uh, right hand side in the middle is a two dresser door unit and that cubby on the end ended up being just a, a storage storage hole so Right here is the uh, making of the frameworks for the four on the left and the two dresser drawer on the right with the dresser drawers in behind on that sawhorses, the boxes rather. So here it is put together, the four dresser drawer unit. All the drawer slides are in there in place and everything's working. And uh, just another picture here of it with the doors open and uh, my tools scattered everywhere is right. But then uh, the next one here is the two dresser drawer unit. Everything's put together there, ready to go. You'll see plywood on the front face of that. I don't know. I'll explain that later here as we get into the video. And this two dresser drawer unit on the very top of that, there is a, a little, oh, there was some extra space there. So I ended up making a, uh, you can see it right here in this picture that uh, framework on the top of that I end up making a, a swinging drawer and uh, put a shelf in there so there's a little bit extra storage to put odds and ends in there that's kind of another view of it you can kind of see the uh, four dresser drawer drawer slides on the left hand side of that picture that for some reason I don't have a picture of that there we go everything's kind of in place there um, everything's framed in there that outlet you see on the left i had to relocate that and move it farther down the wall because it was right where that four dresser drawer unit sits today so there's just kind of putting some of the wall board back on um that's kind of a sound deadening board there with another piece of sound deadening board on the top that i just reused it and uh, tried to save on some cost so the bottom is all uh, has plywood on it and the reason for that and that's what I was talking about earlier is uh, to get it so it's all flat so the drywall and the plywood brings it all out to an even surface so here is the tongue and groove it's a quarter inch planking board that uh, I picked up at cedar and I put uh, red oak on that to kind of get a different color than the rest of the walls in the house so all my dresser drawer fronts are made and routered and all put together. I can't remember at this point if I had the final clear on it. I don't think I did. So I think I cleared them later on. Kind of get a look at that little cubby on the top of the two dresser drawer and that one on the very corner. That's actually almost five feet deep. So here's the closet where I took out just a single shelf and I've made two shelves in there and move the uh, the clothes bar down below that bottom shelf so the clothes come kind of close to the floor but they don't touch the floor so used up uh, that space nicely and give us a lot more room to put things and the far right corner in the back cubby there that's on the top of that four dresser drawer unit which I just put a shelf on there and allows a little more storage space this is the uh, bed frame in the making. 
there's actually three pieces, uh, two outer and one center piece uh, makes up the uh, framework of the bed. And again, here's some more dresser drawer boxes. So the bed has three dresser drawers on each side and there's actually one huge one on the very center of, of the end. So here we go, just the, this picture's just kind of showing. I had the drawer slides uh, in that morning and the, all the drawers functioning and just going over and making sure they, everything was working good, nice and smoothly. So here's uh, the two outside pieces kind of put together, the left and right side. And what I was kind of doing here is just trying to put the planking on the end and uh, get everything kind of lined up, so. And on this picture, you can kind of see I put planking on the side. It's very minimal, but um, where the dresser drawer fronts don't uh, hide, I wanted that to be planking to match the rest of it. Uh, so this is kind of just uh, another picture of the two to put together there. And uh, here we're coming up. We've got uh, where I'd finish the, finish putting the, the red oak stain on that uh, planking and I got my dresser drawer fronts on there so nothing is final finished at this point it's just uh, just the stain so here is the three stacked up I believe and kind of can get a picture of the the depth of that uh, center unit that that drawer is actually four feet deep and all my drawers are right around 10 inches 10 inches uh, tall and uh yeah, so this here kind of shows I used uh, some of them rollers that you use for uh, a sliding uh, closet door. Couldn't really figure out what to use for drawer slides on this four foot long door. So used wood and I used a router bit, kind of uh, made uh, some grooves for those wheels to sit into and a lot of playing around and fine tuning and adjusting them to get them just right so it didn't bind and pinch but we got it it rolls really nice um not quite as nice as a regular drawer slide but pretty nice all 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 in all this here is just kind of a picture of the the, the wallpaper my wife had picked out so to go over that drywall so here it is installed everything went really good with it it was pretty easy to put up and i think it looked nice so I added a little molding to the top of that planking. If you looked at the bottom, you'll see that. It, uh, this here is the carpeting. Uh, it was in the house when we bought it. It's uh, super ugly. And it was in need of going away. So this here is just uh, the carpet stripped out of there. I was getting ready to put down the tack strips and uh, get ready for the carpet installation. And you see in that back wall there, I've got uh, a couple of tack strips going down. And you see that wallpaper there on the right side, that's the uh, where the heater goes. Kind of like where I'm working right now. And I got my helper there, good old Chase buddy. He is a big help, supervising. More like taking a nap. I think he liked the new carpet. He seemed quite comfortable and content just to lay there and let us work around him. So this here, we got it all laid and everything went good. Run the vacuum across it, kind of clean it up a little bit. Real pleased with how it turned out and what a what a wonderful change. This here is just a new curtain rod I put up for my wife. It's new curtains that she wanted to hang. And this next picture here is just, uh, oh, we never had carpet in our closet before, so I wanted to make sure that everything was finished out nice and we had carpet down there. And so I mentioned earlier the wallpaper on the bottom of the wall there for the, that's electric baseboard heater. I took that thing all apart and repainted it. It looked, looked like a brand new register. This here is the beginnings of the headboard. It's basically cut all that wood, ripped it down the same dimension as the other frame. Here we are kind of getting things together. You'll notice there's a couple holes in the 
in the center part there, there's going to be electrical boxes for plugging in your phone. And this picture here basically just shows me I was mocking up some molding to uh, go on the top. It's kind of a closer view of the of the router cuts that I was going to do. This here, it's completed. Got all the planking on. And uh, here, I'll show you here in this next picture, there's uh, those two drawers. One's actually a swinging door with a little cubby. And the other one is a, a pull-out door. In this next video, you'll, you'll see it's kind of a unique little drawer that I made. So, just let you watch here. This here was a... Oh, I'd seen something or someone posted on Facebook and it had kind of a similar idea. So I just saved that video that the guy had put on there. There's no uh, instructions or nothing or plans on how to do it. I just kind of knew what size I had to deal with or what size hole I had to uh, make it fit in. And I just went to town and made it up. Took some planning and figuring, but it turned out really nice. Uh, finish out here with just some pictures of the completed project. That's the pull-out drawer on the end, the one I talked about earlier. It's a four-foot drawer. That's a standing in the hallway looking in. Here just kind of shows the uh, three, three dresser doors on the left side of the bed. And then in this next picture, I think it's just showing the other side. So they're all uniform in size and and uh, super nice to have all that storage space. So all in all, the project was a huge success. I'm super pleased with how everything turned out. It, uh, it's really nice to have a remodel bedroom. And uh, well, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen here and uh, if you like it, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you, and have a nice day.